Hey everybody, this is Joe with the EFI, and today we are going to talk about web to print MIS, and production management integration with Digital Storefront, PrintSmith Vision, and Fiery Digital Print Controllers. Let's have a look. All right, folks, so let's jump into this workflow walkthrough uh, between Digital Storefront for order acquisition, PrintSmith Vision for print management, and Fiery Print Controllers for production management. Uh, now, because I'm going through an integrated workflow among three different systems, uh, I've set up three different desktops to use. Uh, here on my first desktop in a browser window, I have Digital Storefront open. Here on my second desktop, uh, also in a browser window, I have PrintSmith Vision open. And then here on desktop three, I'm in Fiery Command Workstation 6 uh, attached to a Fiery device. So let's go back to the beginning of our workflow and get started. Now I'm logged in as myself. We see my name and my personal user menu up here. Uh, I'm going to go into uh, personalized products here, this category, and order a business card. So here I'm going to click on this business card product. My full screen visual product builder window uh, is going to come up and my user information, my personal information is going to flow automatically from my user profile into the fields for this business card. Now I'm going to give this a name. I'll call it uh, Biz card Joe Fedor, and let's say that I want 500 of this when it's all said and done. So I'm going to click Update Preview, and Digital Storefront is going to take my data, merge it with the EFI VDP Direct Smile template behind the scenes, and it's going to show us a low res proof of that here on screen. And behind the scenes, it's also going to generate the high res asset for production, and we'll see that a little bit further on down the road. Right now I'm going to click Add to Cart because I like my proof and I like my price, which I see right here. That updates automatically. So I'll click Add to Cart and here this item is in my shopping cart. Now I'm going to go ahead with my order here. I'm going to pick my desired delivery date and proceed to checkout. And from here it's a standard three-step e-commerce process. We see those steps across the top of the screen shipping, payment, and finish, or where do you want this sent, how are you going to pay for it, and thank you for your order. Now I'm going to choose my delivery method here, and my delivery methods have actually in this workflow were created in PrintSmith, and they were pushed up into Digital Storefront and kept in synchronization. So I'm going to choose one of those, and we'll see my information flow into the fields uh, because it knows who I am, and my shipping costs have been calculated automatically. <coughs> I'll proceed to payment where I'm going to, uh, let's say this is uh, internal to an organization and I just need to charge this to my department. Uh, but of course for purchase method on your storefront you might be accepting PO numbers for customers that you have net credit terms with uh, or accepting credit card uh, orders as well. But here I'm going to make this a value that we're going to remember so I can point out where it lands. JF12345 and I'll click place my order and we get our third screen. Order confirmation. Thank you for your order. Your order number is 691, and my status is currently order accepted. Oh, and there's my email uh, that I get as the buyer. Let's have a look at that. This was generated by Digital Storefront and sent out automatically without or with all pertinent information. And even in this case, we've configured this email template to include an image of the product. Let's close that. And now that we're done on the buyer side, let's slide on over to PrintSmith Vision and process this order. Now here in PrintSmith Vision, also browser-based, our print management system, I'm going to find my new web order under Pending Documents. PrintSmith Vision creates a pending document because it figures you are going to get you are going to get paid for this and you're going to invoice this, invoice this eventually, so that's why it is a pending invoice here. Now here at the top of the list we see BDP business card, the name of the product, and then the individual identifier that the buyer had entered to uniquely identify theirs. Uh, we see that the PrintSmith job ticket number is 798, but we still have reference here under uh, the web order field uh, that this is order number 691 from Digital Storefront. Now I'll double click on this and we'll see the invoice window. Now the first thing I'll go look at here is under account info, kind of the order header kind of information. And here we see automatically without anybody keying it in, 
who the contact for this order is, who placed the order, what is the shipping address, what is the billing address, when do I want this delivered, and then down over here we see I've got my synchronized delivery method already pre-selected, and over here in the expense code field we have that unique identifier number for this, this transaction That's, that can be used in reporting and invoicing. So let's click OK and go through the rest of the items here on the pending invoice window. Here we have the job. It's 500 of this business card. And you can see Prince Smith Vision already has the production plan put together for this. These are all the steps that the shop needs to take to produce this box of 500 business cards. We also have a planned shipment for that quantity of 500. And if we go in there, there's areas to print out our carton labels, our packing slips, and mark this as shipped. Uh, but let's let's go into produce the job now. Now before we go into that, I want to point something out here under the costing pane. If I click here on this pending invoice, we see our estimated versus actual, right? So estimated is according to the production plan. Prince Smith knows because of the information that's populated in it uh, about your labor costs and your material costs that at this quantity, it's estimated that these 500 business cards to produce them is going to cost this much for each one of these steps. And we see here in our actual that right now it's identical because no data collection has been done. So Prince Smith Vision is assuming you're going to produce this for exactly the same cost as you estimated. But we'll see that change as data collection occurs. So let's go back here to our invoicing pane and double click on the name of the job, which is going to open up the job window. Now here in the job window, we have everything you would expect to find on a job ticket in digital format. Uh, up here, I still have my paper job tickets. So let's say that I want to see that. This will generate according to the format that's been assigned to it. There's actually a couple of different work order and job ticket formats that you can pick from uh, right in Prince Smith Vision. And if you want to customize this at all, that's possible too through custom reports. But here on this work order uh, report format, I, you know, I like it. It's got all the pertinent information here, even a visual of how we're going to run the job. And you can see we have barcodes for a barcoding workflow here as well that's optional with Prince Smith Vision. But now let's close that and go back to our digital job ticket window where we see this is for the VDP business card product, this specific version of it. It knows already that it's going to run on 110 pound coated Mohawk Glossy uh, and it knows that we're going to run that 3 across by 8 down for a total of 24 up on a 12 by 18 sheet. And because we know that, at the quantity of 500, Prince Smith Vision can figure out our copy count needs to be 21. We're going to hit that 500th business card somewhere in the middle of that 21st sheet. Now over here we have the digital asset from Digital Storefront, the output file uh, that has been generated. And we can see that here. It's one up and it's got my information on it. That's the output file that's going to be sent down to the production workflow in a moment. So let's do that. Up here in our ribbon, we see the Submit button. Let's go ahead and click that. And here in the pop-up window, we will see and be able to select from all of the Fiery-driven devices that we have on our network that Prince Smith knows about. Uh, and it syncs up with those in real time. So when I choose a particular Fiery, it goes out and it fetches the list of job presets or virtual printers that I have set up on the Fiery to automate things further once these jobs get here. So I'm going to click Use a Virtual Printer and select my ready-made BizCard 12 by 18 Impose Template from uh, or Job Preset. It's going to use that Impose Template from Prince Smith Vision. So let's click OK to submit that. And when this is done, this window will close and we will see the Submit button that I clicked. There it goes. Change to Void Submitted Job. If I were to click that, that would pull the job back from the Fiery. But obviously I want to keep it there, so let's go ahead and click Save. And let's save this as well. And close our pending documents window. Now let's slide on over to Command Workstation 6. And here at the top of the list, sitting at a status of spooled, we see our order, our order number 798 from Print Smith Vision. And there's that business card. When I click on it, we can see that it's already preset to use the correct paper uh, and the Fiery knows which drawer that is in in the device so it'll be able to automatically instruct the device to go pull from there. 
So let's go apply our workflow now. So I'll right click here and click process and hold. That is going to run my job through the BizCard 12 by 18 workflow, which is actually something that could be set up to happen automatically once that job hits the firing. But now that that's done, if I click on that, we will see that uh, now it's no longer one up over here on the right hand side. It's imposed 24 up uh, with all my marks and maybe my barcodes to enable my nearline finishing equipment. Uh, but that is now ready to go. So let's go ahead and print it as well. I'll click print. Uh, now I'm attached to a virtual fiery, so it's going to go very fast, and there it goes. So now that was printed. All right, let's slide back over to our workflow and see how that affects what we're doing here. Here under pending documents, we'll find our business card job again. And now let's go look at the costing pane. Now we can see the Fiery has told Princemith Vision, well, Princemith, we know what you thought this was going to take, uh, but let's tell you what actually did happen. And it's coming back and telling us that it only cost the shop 43 cents because it happened so fast in this case. But that data collections happened automatically. And of course, as folks produce the job and it goes through bindery and some other manual steps, let's say, uh, the the operator would simply manually, manually collect uh, their shop floor data uh, where it can't happen electronically. Okay, so let's slide over now. We'll go to our invoicing pane again and slide back to digital storefront and have a look what's happened there. Without anybody having to do anything in digital storefront, the status will have automatically been updated to in production because the fiery has told Printsmith and now Printsmith has told digital storefront. Now, let's slide back to Printsmith Vision and ship the job. Down here in my plan shipment area, I'll double click there and we'll see all the information laid out for us. What are we delivering? Where are we sending it? How does it need to go? We have an area for printing out our packing slip and our carton labels directly from Printsmith Vision in any kind of a format that's needed. And then here under status is where I'm going to go ahead and mark this as delivered in full. And then I'll save that. And if we were to slide back over to Digital Storefront and refresh our page here again, without anybody updating the status manually, it's changed to shipped. And if there's an email notification that goes out based on that, that would happen as well. So now that our job is shipped, it's time to get paid for it. Uh, in Printsmith Vision, what you would likely do in a scenario like this is settle in a batch all of the invoices that are pending for a given day, let's say. And you can do that in Printsmith Vision. I am going to do this just for this one order. So here manually in the pending documents window, I'll click that order and click pickup, indicating that it's being picked up or delivered to the customer. And so here we can see that the expected payment is $93.50. And I'm going to go ahead and post that. Make that payment, say that's how much we were paid, it's how much we were expecting, and post that transaction. And what we'll see once we get our confirmation window right there when I close this is that 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 order will now disappear off of our pending documents list it's no longer pending it's already been invoiced and now when I slide back over to digital storefront let's refresh this page and see this order on the detail page reach the final status of completed and invoiced so we've closed the circle there but now even better let's go up to my order history list and we'll see for order number 691, not only is it completed and invoiced, but the automated workflow has automatically delivered the invoice to their customer right here in their digital storefront order history. When we click that invoice file, this is the invoice page being served up directly from the Printsmith server. So we've delivered the invoice here at the end of the workflow. So thanks for your time with me here today. Uh, hopefully this has been useful in showing you the unique benefits of the integrated workflow and the productivity suite made up of digital storefront for order acquisition, Printsmith Vision for print management, and Fiery for production management. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.